dig it. Ooh, flip side. She called it extortion, dig it. She called it extortion, dig it. We taking this. We just ain't asking for nothing. Mm. Been through a whole bunch of bullshit. I hope it all works out. Stay loaded, eat bad, but I won't. Been through a whole bunch of bullshit. I hope it all works out. Stay loaded, eat bad, but I work out. Been through a whole bunch of bullshit. I hope it all works out. Stay loaded, eat bad, but I work out. I'm a east side hoodlum. I wear my hat backwards. Filthy mouth. And when I rap, I use bad words. I state my opinion just like an asshole. I know a opinion like an asshole. We all got one. Everybody right. And you ain't finna never please everybody right. I'm trying to find the truth. It ain't no secret. They say it ain't the word, but it ain't no secret. I need to shake the street. I know what it do, but I'm still in the streets like what up, what it do? Slide through the project, smoking on roaches, getting hair from the hood rat, stepping over roaches. Go hard, charge everything I need on a whole car, and still down to pull a bitch nigga whole car. She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. Hit me in that motherfucker, tripping candy on the floor. They on the charger like my phone when the battery low. You turn your head and I'm grabbing your hoe. We burn bread like a magical show. My automatic glow. I'm on the block grinding with a diamond in my head, bigger than Simon's. Smurf, I'm big time and in it to look a lot like Christmas around my wrist, bitch. What the fuck was I on? I should have been on the block with a fist full of stones, a pocket full of collard greens. Nigga, y'all that I mean, I'm trying to double every dollar I bring. And it Impala on lean, like a nigga off lean. A couple G's in my V suit G's. Gold D's on my prone when I had most goals on my jeans. They can't run in Jim Jones. I got Biggie in the blunt, Tupac up in the cup. Got a box of Swiss of sweets, what for Hawaiian sluts? She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. I guzzle yaks, spit up bars, smoke swishes and niggas, guns lift up cars. Cartoon, you a crip, why you spell it with a K? Cause I'm a keyway, bang more drums than Doc Dre. Your homeboys is hot dogs, certified weenies. I let the Glock off, way to burner by your beanie. Smurfy a B-rag, spot a C-rag, tune, keep a burner on them, hip got a heat rash. Guns got a karate kick, bitch. I am broke, more bricks than the karate kid. Black, black, shoddy spit, leave your whole body hit. SS96, black tent, shiny kicks. Niggas love the kids, soon be on that grimy shit that I don't leave home without my fucking Mac 90 shit. Everything beautiful, six foot cubicle, six feet deep, then we shoot up the funeral. Yeah. She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. She don't know me, only know my nickname. We change up straps, switch up our hip game. One in the head, gun loaded, the clip hang. Two words for you, talk shit and get banged. Well, if it's on and it's on, I'm laid back, stacking, blowing the brief feet. Cotton Louis protected with a freak in the seat. Benji Franklin stay in my vision, even more when I'm sleep. I count the bands when I count these sheep. I'm in the streets, switching lanes on the forges while posse and out the paper plate. The licks what my niggas was playing, call it the great escape. Friends nowadays, they ain't loyal like how they used to be. And you ain't really real like you saying, nigga, you used to be. If he your folks, then he my folks, if that's just how we roll. If he ain't, then he ain't mine. Now let's get super blow. I be, I be, I be, I be dipping, I be rolling, I be smoking, I be smoking, I be sipping with the turn up to the ceiling. Off the turn up, yeah, I feel it. Fake friends, I don't do it. Tell them niggas they can kill it. Yeah, so if ever my niggas need me, I be there in the flash to get the bags out the stash for that all black Look, rag. Don't let like, that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga. And if you my nigga, you should know 
We don't do that lame shit, never. I'm a friend, my nigga, and that's something that my niggas all should know. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga. And if you my nigga, you should know. We don't do that lame shit, never. I'm a friend, my nigga, and that's something that my niggas all should know. Hopping out on feet, aiming at the enemy, squeezing. Little Hennessy or Remy, all I need for a reason. Quarterback for years, I did plenty receiving. Now I'm coaching while approaching my 20th season. Every turn I get, I leave the mic in a tourniquet. Tonight might light the roof on fire, let it burn a bit. Don't dance, never did the Dougie or the Nay Nay. No romance, neighborhoods love me, I'm a Nay Nay. I'm way more proactive than a lot of these cats. Not only that, me and Woodrow know how to react. Death before the sign on Shice, never seen. See me run since BB guns in the streets with PP sons. Eastside dumb. In case you're wondering where I'm from, 197971. That's PI fly crippin' to the day that he died. RIP to JR and Baby BI. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga. And if you my nigga, you should know. We don't do that lame shit, never. I'm a friend, my nigga. And that's something that my niggas all should know. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga And if you my nigga, you should know We don't do that lame shit, never I'm a friend, my nigga And that's something that my niggas all should know I mean, we had a great time, I mean, but he's just seems like he's got something that's not quite clear. Oh, no, because I let her lick my ass, she thinks I'm gay. <laughs>
It's Buck fucking with the nay names. Other day seen him on the internet fucking with Sinead names. No phonies, push the yayo in the cush. No Tony, never throw the homie yayo in the bush. Pure pussy boy. We all thought he was a pimp, cause he talked with a lisp and walked with a limp. Rest in peace to Chris Lighty. But one question, Curtis, when the fuck the gangsters ever start investigating murders? Feeling fruity? Miss Fox, bitch, shine your booty. Now you're popping champagne with 6 9 to Coochie. Don't miss this movie, I'm controlling the whole shit. On this whole nigga head for all that trolling and whole shit. When I wake up in the morning, I'ma smoke. Getting my loke on, getting my loke on. Counting money all day while I smoke. Getting my loke on, getting my loke on. Before I lay down at night, I'ma smoke. Getting my loke on, getting my loke on. For death though, niggas know I'm the loke. Steady getting my loke on, getting my loke on. Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box, had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe, stay tuned, all that. Can't think without a whole zone It's almost gone, but don't think about the old zone I ain't ate all day, but I'm so blown Tell the DJ to throw on a slow song My life is what the po-po press for South Central is so, so stressful In the city of the bombest herbs The only way to know, know the calmest nerves Females say I'm a conceited nothing No good, only call when in need of something It's a thin line between the love and the lust She'll never have have young cuz in the cuffs Gotta be cool with them first advances Working in these uncertain circumstances Fake ballin' had you broke with a buzz Pump your brakes, come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us and we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us I get high as the heights that I'm reaching to Put a few in the air for Big Meech and Blue Grind hard through the middle of the night Shit, I might see a little of the light I never sleep, barely get some rest I swallow my blood before I hit some stress Roscoe's on the east, but hit the west for jacks Pockets fat, I just hit for racks, yeah That's where I can get some clothes at too It's already one and it closed at two Fast lane, balling out, racing the range Gang banger, all about chasing the change I'm icy, judging the jury Ain't trying to see the judge and the jury Eastie represent the E and S But I still Baymac like BMF And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us 
get money every day like it's no thing. Buy zone of that cushion, smoke the whole thing. Rolled up, deuces, yeah. carry four fives. Yeah. Off a half a gram of cush, but we so high. South Central where they murder with no alibi. Do walk ups and don't respect drive bys. We some young killers, yeah. we still some fly guys. Yeah. Neighborhood near Puzzle and SBI. Look. Rich roller coaster crib and that's our lifestyle. And that explains why my neck and wrist iced out. Smoke big blunts, yeah. ride luxury. Yeah. A nigga beat his bitch up, she was fucking me. And then I beat the pussy up and told her it'll be. Alright, just tell me every time you mention me. Yeah, and that's the size meant to be. It's the end of the thing. Trust me, I'm not sick of it. And we can get high, y'all. Never know when we gon' die, y'all. Come smoke one with us. Come smoke one with us. And we can get high, y'all. Never know when we gon' die, y'all. Come smoke one with us. Come smoke one with us. And we can get high, y'all. Never know when we gon' die, y'all. Come smoke one with cuz. Slow down. Come smoke one with cuz. Don't let the t- drink get like that. Took that shit up. Roll that shit up. Remember Pac said that on that. Pour out a little liquor. I'ma say. Roll up a little indica. <laughs> we should remix that. Who thought I need that beat remade? Pour out a little liquor. Oh, my mama, mama, I ain't gonna even fake a front. It's hot as a muff up in here. We at the start of a heat wave today. And then right when it's finally getting time to open the door and let the cool breeze in, I gotta close it to trap the sound out so it could be us. Lights bright, they hot, oh, by mama, mama. Is the fan loud? I got the fan on me, but uh, I don't want it to be uh, yada yada good looking, fully. On oh, my mama, mama, I see you, cowboy. Thank you to you too, HQ. Thanks for riding that troll train with me too early today. Man, I'm telling you, these dudes is worse than these females with this stalkerism. On oh, my mama, mama, I got a word of the day. Thought I didn't. It might end. Emollient, something that softens or soothes. The marijuana the marijuana continues because Mary Jane softens and soothes. My spirit, it is emollient to me. Mary Mary Juana is as an is, is is an emollient substance agent, whatever word you choose. Right on Chef D. You know I'm gonna smoke one, two, three, four. Or some more. Oh, my mama, my Mr. Wake and Bake Show. And that's just how it go. And I just said that for those that don't know. We don't get mad, we get money. And then we go and get some more. We make it rain, we make it snow. <laughs> Y'all seen the, uh, the, the presidential debate last night? I didn't see the debate. However, I did see quite a bit of follow-up <laughs> content, commentary on it. And I saw some clips. So from what I take, the issues that were um, relating to black, blacks or us's in America, I've heard all the pieces that concerned us. <laughs> if it's some of you slowbos who didn't quite get uh, my video I did that said vote Trump, if you didn't get the sarcasm in it, uh, yo bad. I was not coming out or professing myself to be a Trump supporter what I was trying to say by that video is all this time up until I made that video I would say don't vote Trump based on whoever we can get other than Trump would be better however once I got acquainted with the other candidate I was basically saying pick your poison it doesn't matter so if you feel like voting Trump I'm not supporting him but how can you pick between two demons? And last night's debate, kind of like from the clips I got, kind of proves my point. But taking the cake, y'all, I know y'all heard the man 
when they was asking him about would he be willing to denounce white supremacy. I think he is really see now because a general, first of all, which he is a commander in chief, that has sediments such as that toward a certain group of people in America, he should be wise enough to, no matter what you feel, but he's so bold and blatant that he said, oh, white when they asked him about white supremacy, he responded, oh, you want me to tell the good old boys? He said, all right, yeah, stand down, stand back. Stand down, stand back, but somebody has to do something. And you wonder why nobody getting charged on my mama mama. It's like, what do you do? I know one thing. You do have a right as American if you didn't know. According to the Second Amendment, to bear arms. And uh, I think it's high time that everyone that is legally capable, eligible, us is, it's time to go buy them up. Get yourself ready. Get to the range. Take some self-defense classes. Figure out who your friends are. Find out what your purpose is. It's time to get focused, y'all. Eastside, good looking, homie. Eastside Vic, on oh, my mama, mama. It's time to get focused. You got to find a purpose. There's a lot of distractions around, but your commander in chief, I don't know what it is about his mentality that makes him comfortable calling for the Central Park's fire to be lynched before they even go to trial. He feels comfortable while running for president. At the very first debate, when questioned about denouncing white supremacy, his response was, good old boys, <laughs> stay back, stand down, hold up, wait a minute. But somebody got to do something. Be on point. I understand. I got your back. You got to be able to read between the lines and peep what we're dealing with. That's like a green light, y'all. Oh, my mama, mama. This ain't no game out here. If you thought it was. The melanin a thon. 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 Continue. TMC. All digital platforms. As P.I. said, tap in or tap out. Oh, my mama, mama. You wake it, wake it. I overlook my competition, never seeing them. I done trained my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, hold me what you thought. My life is a movie. That's piano. Can't get close to me. Folks, they all cross though. They mad cause they can't be. Hey, I'm the they wanna be. Yeah. This time around, I ain't moving with a gang of homies. By my lonely couple bad bitches hanging on me. For sure, sharpshooters on deck though Will I ever let my foot up off these bitch niggas neck? No, blue bitly getting blunted Wonder how it come to that Can't let a rat do me like they done my nigga Thundercat Pay Mac, place nothing above my paper Couple slugs for the haters But I love my neighbors, point blank Do no subliminal dissing When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you Neighborhood crib, the marathon continues I overlook my competition, never seeing them I done train my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, hold me what you thought. My life is a movie. They can't get close to me. They mad cause they can't be. I'm everything that they wanna be. Yeah. On the east, the streets anticipate my new release. Legendary beast. Peace to Lil Tootie Reese. 97,000 a day's work It hurt to read the paperwork We from the same turf Talking super turned up to make things worse Passed out passes in the past I take the blame first Go hard when I'm cleaning up the backyard Queer don't sound like a queen trying to act hard I represent the truth We don't play by the same rules There is no competition cause I can't lose First is vicious, sell them like souvenirs Blue diamonds in my ear Hella fly, boom again I overlook my competition, never seeing them 
frame my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, hold me what you thought. My life is a movie. They can't get close to me. They mad cause they can't be. I'm everything that they wanna be. Yeah. Look here, the haters act like he don't know me. One man gang, I don't need no homie On the seven these days, they don't even see them seldom On the money, who done touch more than me and Melvin? Anybody help them? Hell no, ho Straight line dollars, they'll dog dope SBI spot, can't never have it East side legend like A7 Magic Honcho hustle, plus he the bomb in the booth Counting coins like Chucky from Swan How the most easy with the ends gon' bow down all the clowning like this. Overlook my competition, never seeing him. I train my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, hold me what you thought. My life is a movie. They can't get close to me. They mad cause they can't be. I'm everything that they wanna be. Yeah. Again, if you didn't hear, please don't ask me. That record is entitled TMC. It's available on all digital platforms. That's me. My boy Trey Legend on the hook. The new Nate Dog. The new Eno on my mama mama. He dig a lies. I need y'all to check this out though. Get a good look at it. Read every word before you just look at it. <laughs> On the surface, read every word attached to the packaging, especially the capital T word. It starts off the word, the wording at the bottom in pink. Take a good look at that. And I don't know uh, why the doll has to be black. I don't know if they have non-black ones. You want to say something? Cause it type, you come here. Just say, come on, you just say something. This Curvell, y'all. Hi. My first name is Kurt. My first name is Curtis. My middle name is Norvell. So just think about the combination of Curtis and Norvell. This is Curvell. It's my youngest son. He uh, he eleven. T twelve. He twelve. <laughs> my bad. But anyway, on my mama, mama. This is the type of reason why these subjects is important to me. I also have a daughter younger than him. But. I don't. I, I would imagine they have them non-black, but it blows my mind. It blows my mind. If you know the struggle that <clears throat> us has went through in the first place to ever have a black Barbie in the first place, it blows my mind that we have to do no struggling to get the first trans Barbie. And it got the nerve to have a sign on there that say Black Trans Lives Matter. I want to let all y'all know who do come in the comments hollering about the Black Lives Matter movement. I do understand. Don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm no fool. I do understand where y'all be coming from. That's why I make sure I make it my business to... Uh, Express that I have no connection, affiliation, or desire to promote or be affiliated with any organization under the title Black Lives Matter. But I do want the message to be profoundly understood that Black Lives Matter. Also, two, Black Lives are important. If you don't like the word matters, in order to dif differentiate myself and my understanding and my beliefs from the actual organization, I just believe that black lives do matter as a fact so that's why you hear me anytime speak on that phrase but i think this right here is child abuse at its finest on a psychological level it has nothing nothing to do with um children suffering being relieved alleviated prevented it has everything with doing to do with sexualizing the thoughts and the mind frame of children far before um, appropriate. And it's high time parents, non-parents, people who 
who have an interest in just general decency, morality. Um, what's next? If you look at things in a sense of progression, what's next? It blows my mind that we have to ask ourselves this question. But please tell me, please tell me a doll that is created for children. What is the purpose for creating such a thing? Let's take a look again. Take a look. It's the world we living in. It's crazy. I just want to make it obvious that that's a man you're looking at. A man named Barbie. For those of you who've been around long enough to remember when there weren't even no black Barbies. That's not Kenneth. That's not Ken Ron. It's not Ken Roy. That's Barbie. A black Barbie, y'all. A black Barbie boy looking like that. And we living in a... Um... And this is not me bashing any adults for anything they decide to do with their personal life. I understand that it's not my place whatsoever. Uh, I'm far beyond even thinking that my opinion matters to any other adult on sexuality. However, I think every adult in society is responsible for the well-being of the children that we encounter, that we influence. Uh, me personally, but a lot of the decisions I've made through the years, even with my influence uh, on just the general public, I am making steps to, to correct some of the negative influence that I have perpetrated. And I would, I, I would be remiss if I allow, when you see who just left up out the room, if I allow them to witness me, witness such things without giving them a clear understanding of what is going on. I can't tell my kids that's cool. I won't be buying those type of dogs. I don't know about y'all, but not SPI on my mama mama. Black I remember when it was different. Boys is boys, girls is girls. And if somehow they done messed up the genetic pool to where that's not an easy decision for some people naturally. Celebrating this type of stuff still not. I remember when the nigga first got turned out. I remember stripping my blood in the blood out. I remember, I remember coming up in the stove game. I remember now niggas only know about this whole game. I, I remember when the nigga first got turned out. I remember stripping my blood in the blood out. I remember coming up in the stove game. I remember, I remember, I remember. On the turf, Lil Box and Lil Murk Not a gang of birds, but the third served the Lil Work Sticky shit, every time he lit his big Politicking with his click, trying to hit the biggest lick Problem with the hood, we gon' have to see to that It was Baby Jinx, Tiny D, me and Black To be from EC, can't explain how it felt to me Lil BT, nicknamed himself Looney With big wine on the five, getting hella faded Heard that nigga ain't survived, so we celebrated On a mission with the homies, or if by my lonely Niggas know me, always got the pistol on me Shot his way on the set, they ain't quote him on Never lied, every lyric you can quote him on Diamond shining, rhyming with my rollie on Money long, kinda like a coli on I remember when the nigga first got turned out I remember stripping my blood in the blood out I remember, I remember coming up in the stove game I remember. Now niggas only know about this whole game I, I remember when the nigga first got turned out Some shit you just can't forget Like some of the young niggas used to claim to sit Same time, some of the homies used to bang young To this day, me and Herb trade the same guns Eastside, niggas know about that 7 gang Central to San Pedro, sold up on everything You ain't heard, 93rd to the Sin Sin Ain't nothing new, neighborhood, just what it been been All the Sherm homies hitting in the hood Fuck the function off, soon to get to getting good A party ain't a party without a little drama in the parking lot, hollering at Lil Mama. Say my name next to Johnny Ray, Baby Dre. Soul 1 and 2, Big Snake from 88th. For death, though, I die for, I surrender. Shit was evil on the east side, I remember. I remember when the nigga first got turned out. I remember stripping my blood in the blood out. I remember, I remember coming up in the stove game. I remember. Now niggas only know about this whole game. I remember, I remember when the nigga first got turned out. I remember stripping my blood in the blood out. I remember, I remember, I remember
Baymac Business. Baymac Business. On my mama, mama, they on Eve head. <laughs> I stumbled across it. I got a chance to meet Eve a couple of times. I ain't gonna even lie. One time I got off the airplane, red eye. She was at baggage claim, LAX. It was basically empty. From the time I came down to uh, the uh, the uh, escalator, it's like we was locking eyes. I wanted to get at her back, huh? but I like kind of worked out. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm talking about. She was facing baggage claim this way. I was coming from this way, but all the way until I passed, she like over this side shoulder. Cause I got nervous though. I was set. And uh, then the homie Big Dame used to be a security. And I used to go pull up on him a, a couple times, sat at the bar, chit chatted with him. She was down to earth decent. I ain't gonna lie, just from that, just from that being a fact, I never saw it coming that she would marry a white uh, man from you know all the images I seen of her on TV and all that and magazines and then from what I picked up being around her a little bit, I didn't see that coming. I'm not shitting on her for it. Uh, she was asked about her being black in the midst of an interracial marriage, in the midst of all the issues that have been going on at a racial, uh, racially, uh, racially charged. And her response was she doesn't think about being black or think about it much, something of that nature. And a lot of people on her head. And on my mama, mama, I don't think, if you can accept her being married to a non-black, that answer, that's not even from America, from the UK. Um, I don't think that answer should be as offensive as everyone is taking it. Like, she didn't say she doesn't feel black. If you, if you can imagine, now you might have an issue with the interracial relationship, and that's one thing. But if, not saying that I do, but if you did, I could even understand the logic behind someone um, perhaps having something to say. But her saying that it, she doesn't think about being black in her personal experience, I can imagine that being a reality if you're in a scenario where someone doesn't treat you any different than they, do, they treat anybody else that they're encountering. And... A lot of times, we're reminded that we're black is because when we see things taking place on the media, the first thing we can do is we can relate to an incident similar. And we it's so often, at least me personally, I see, damn, so many times that scenario could go that bad. And it could have been over for me so many times just for that. He ain't did nothing. And a lot of times we can relate to it because we go through it. Now, her experience might be that she's not being treated in a way that we are steadily re that she's reminded that she's black and some people may view that as her being compromised and to some degree she has to be because the same way you come into a relationship expecting your counterpart to have a be invested in your plight as a person and to be accepting of your total um your 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 your, your reality you have to be vice versa. So if you're in love with and partnered up with somebody who is definitely um, a member or a part of the other side, they may not have been physically involved in anything that we have experienced, which is negative, but they're, they represent the people that do so it's to some extent they have to find some acceptance within their own within their history and it's going to be very hard for someone that is married to an individual like that to stand a google percent and representation of what we're going through so although i would like for her to think about her blackness more just based on the fact that if she had not be as fortunate to be in the position she is a lot of the things that we've seen taking place to our people, she can also fall victim to it too. But I don't, I don't think that it was her trying to be non-black. And I think people are reading that into it. You know what I'm saying? I just think she has a very different experience. And a lot of time that it caused people to be desensitized 
to the reality of what we're going through as a whole. Shout out Eve. Hold it down. I hate the fact you got this sweet black way some man, you supposed to keep that in the fam bam, ma'am. Oh my mama mom. Black Fox Production. RJ on the beat. Cemetery ceremony, bury the home, blue chucks, see bitch where he struck up, hope the preacher hurry up and shut the fuck up, view the murder victim, single file line, violent vengeance, only thing on my mind, murder. Seeing him on the, uh, I've been seeing him on the little circuit. Seems like every time I see a, a headline, I catch him saying this. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. Oh my Bible, Bible. Most recently, uh, he was in an in a, uh, interview, and uh, somebody at, it was an interview that had nothing to do <coughs> with the subject. But out of nowhere, the interviewer asked him, uh, what do you think about Dave East? And before he could get the words out of his mouth, uh, Faison Love was like, fake crib, whoop, 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 whoop. And then he, he said something about, uh, he insinuated the dude did something less than masculine in order to acquire his deal. And you know, he's a comedian. So he just, first of all, he don't respect his cripping. And then, so from then, he went to clowning. So it was funny just him, you know, being face on love, talking his ish. But uh, he summed it up by saying he was surprised that MC8 gave Cuz a stamp. And he was like, he know MC8, you know. And basically, to me, it seemed like he was stamping MC8 as a reputable crip from out here. He wasn't trying to sh on MC8. In the process of him sh on uh, Dave East, Cuz was like, 
uh, just mentioned MCA, like, damn, a real one like MCA, giving MCA this props. Saying it, a real one like MCA, vouch for him, that shocked me. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying, you know, the game done got to the point where the real ones is vouching for what he considered to be the fake ones. So he was like, that shocked him. So uh, I guess MCA didn't really take it that way because responded. And, you know, basically, basically his response, it wasn't uh, in bad taste or he didn't go all extreme and try to beef or bang on Faison. He was just like, damn, he don't know why niggas is getting at him when uh, Snoop and uh, who else he said? Because if somebody else, he like uh, Snoop and uh, <clears throat> somebody else. They, he didn't even mention Nipsey, but he said... Snooping somebody else, uh, fuck with cuz. So, why is you getting on my head? I don't even know why eight brought anybody else into it, but he was like, I did a record with a homie and I fuck with him. I don't know if Faison is just judging in general because cuz are out of town crib and not really accepting the whole out of town play with the game banging, or if he was really just on Davies personal it didn't seem like he was making a a straight general blanket statement about new york crips or out of town crips it seemed like what he as i observed from dave east personally he didn't he wasn't feeling it and so uh i just found it interesting that he was uh he went so bad on cuz and didn't give a f about what he was saying and then he put eight in it slightly giving eight props but at the same time, I can see how eight can slightly be offended by what Cuz said. But what blew my mind is the nigga chill, Cuz. Chill. <laughs> cuz, on my mama mama. I wouldn't even speak on Cuz getting on social media making threats and how corny that is. Except for the fact this is a nigga that I f with. Cuz supposed to be my homie, right? Cuz gave me two beats recently, a couple years ago. Do your thing, SPI, it's your time, do this, wop, wop, Spidey. Matter of fact, Spidey, it's my boy. I don't let too many people call me Spidey. It's my boy, he called me Spidey. He gave me the two beats. Well, he gave me one or two beats, but I recorded on two. Sit to them as soon as I did them. Do your thing. Put them out. Shot video for one of them, circulating it. Bam. It's been moving around for a year or so. All of a sudden, I start getting copyright claims on it. So I'm like, damn, maybe, you know, sometimes producers have beats floating around and things inadvertently happen and, you know, shit get, you know, and they, I just want to clear it and figure it out. Like, can you at least white list, list the beat for me so I can play it on my show and promote it or whatever? So I start reaching out to Cuz about, uh, so I can get him about the beat. Cut and never respond. I mean, it's DM heavy. Now I'm getting at the few people, you know, that I know know how to get right at them that we both know. Tell Cut Holler, tell Cut Holler. He don't never holler. Then I go on Cut's page. I see right there, he'll communicate with a nigga. That shit is say 45 seconds ago. I hop on there, holler at me, my local need to holler at you. Cut never tap in. Then come to find out, he don't know I know this. When the, uh, the, uh, when the weirdo nigga, the queerdo nigga talking about he gonna shoot me in front of the church and all that. The nigga that uh, originated from the other side of Alonzo. Cuz telling the nigga from Santana on the phone. I hope he don't ho hope he don't think the homie's gonna have his back and all that. And at the same, around the same period of time is when Cuz started, stopped tapping in, started not responding. So I'm like, Cuz, that's the type of nigga you is? That was corny as f but now, since you want to get on the internet being corny, three told the nigga face on love last morning. Or what? <laughs> oh, cuz make beats, but he be trying to bust verses too, so I just want to say this one time. Disclaimer. Oops. Oh, my baba baba. I didn't mean to do that yet. Oh, my baba baba. Let me, uh, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to get my disclaimer right. We're going to come with that in a minute. <laughs> Cuz got me <laughs> these niggas here, man. And then A was like, he summed it up with uh the whole thing about Phase on Love. He was like, I think he did it for podcast views. And A saying that from his perspective, somebody just throwing him in it and he felt like he was 
cool for what he did, I can see why he said that. You know what I'm saying? I can see why he would assume that, you know, a nigga just trying to, like, him saying for podcast views is the uh, the current way niggas would say clout chase. And I guess that would be a fair response. But he didn't do no threatening. I think the threatening was for the clout chasing on my mama mama. So if he mentioned crypt business one more again, he got his last warning. So then what? Hey, face on. I got a lot of little business uh, floating around. You can speak on any of it, cuz that's crypt business. You feel me? It did, uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just so curious what happens after the last word, you know, blah, 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 blah. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. Yeah, that's what I was trying to play at first before VJ Keyway. SPI, that's easy. Bay Machiavelli, not hard at all. VJ Keyway, kinda new to me. Still getting the hang of this. Oh, Bob, 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 Bob. Chill, I'll let your boy come. I was him, man. Can I clear them little beats? Seven ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I've been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a bag. 97 ways we gon' live it. Bay Mac in the building. 97 ways we gon' live it. We gon' live it. Ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my crippin'. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me up. Hundred thousand feel like something when you're thumbing through it. Done it. When some would say one would be dumb to do it. Running circles round rappers on their last lap. PayPal perhaps. Ask cap the cash app. Ass app is how I expect the next direct deposit. Positivity love phone posits. Check the closet. To say we touch a paper is an understatement. Underground label running late. Tell them run the payment. Executive decisions. Check the balance. Time to monetize the talents. I accept the challenge. Memory of crazy tune. One eleven days. Local for my days. Ninety seven ways. Seven ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a play. 97 ways we gon' live it. Bay Mac in the building. 97 ways we gon' live it. We gon' live it. 97 ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me up, I'm able to fake it, fuck how they take it Heard about the meeting, I was able to make it Just sick of watching Sherm head squabble each other While the judge that he handing out lottery numbers It go down year round, ain't gotta be summer Life's a bitch and niggas never get apologies from her Dumber, big and little homies frequently locking Don't see no other options, that's the reason they flocking SPI ain't the nigga, how you figure, fat? Gift the gab, every gig get a bigger bag Either name your price so it's appropriation from this game, nigga. Nice with negotiations. 97 ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a play. 97 ways we gon' live it. Bay Mac in the building. 97 ways we gon' live it. We gon' live it. Junebug, what it do, my low? One five nine seven <laughs> for Dev Dope, Baby Bo, Ray Bo, what up, child? <laughs> Lil Bo, Slow Poke, what up, my crib? <laughs> oh, the hope he don't think. <coughs> 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 you know what <laughs> hey, Pac, <huh? laughs> Oh, man. What it do, cuz? Oh, my, 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 my. Hey, I'm almost up out of here, cuz. But, hey, do y'all think that Snoop Kitty Cat is playing? Or do he really call himself having a problem with Curtisha Jack's daughter? Last little power episode. Oh my mama, mama, I don't know if y'all seen, but I seen a piece where apparently Snoop Kitty Cat supposedly has a problem with a scene in power because it is highly charged with um, male on male physical 
sensual activity <coughs> from the clip <coughs> from the clip <coughs> from the clip that uh, I saw it looked like two men it looked like they was in the shower or something facing one another uh, close enough to kiss you only can see from the waist up but they apparently unclothed so uh look like they was belly to belly and I'm like, so, first of all, I know Snoop can't be serious because he feels comfortable coming out in front of the world with French tips on, um, the son wear dresses, and he professes, he self-proclaimed super gay cuz number one fan. So I'm like, damn, I know he ain't really tripping on that, so he must be playing. And then you know, uh, Cartesia Jack's daughter, cuz just, I seen the clip of cuz, he was doing an interview. And once again, nobody, just like nobody asked him about what Vivica did to his uh, rectal region. Nobody asked him that. He just offered this information up, right? <laughs> she said the pop was calling the kettle black because he called a show gay, right? He called Empire gay. She said that's like the, the uh, cat, the, 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 the uh, pop calling the kettle black, insinuating that he was gay. Cud just came out and started discussing how she violated, V for v, v Vivica, V for violated, violated his rectal region. Then I heard a song with him <laughs> in Too Short, and Cub was saying he can't be with a female unless she gonna do the same thing he claims Vivica did. And then he said after she do that, he gonna come up with some more, even more kinky stuff to do. I couldn't imagine what he wanted to do more kinky than do what he said Vivica did. But anyway, that's off the subject. But anyway, Kitty Cat was acting like he got a problem with the scene. But every production uh, Curtisha Jack's daughter ever been a part of has always, in his movie, him and Terrence Howard was in the shower, wrestling naked. He ain't green screened. He ain't special affected. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Then... I stopped watching Power. People be like, hey, you, you see Power? Then they think who they talking to and be like, oh, never mind. I know you ain't watching. But no, nah, I don't watch it. But it ain't like that. I used to watch it. And I was proud of Cuz because out of all the shows on a similar platform, for a while, he was the only one that did not involve or include that element in his show. Um, I was watching, uh, what was it? What's the show with uh, Lil Mama? Playing with the president, she the fixer and all that. A uh, little black chick, you know it. Scandal. I was watching Scandal, How to Murder. I couldn't watch uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Scandal. That before they started getting too graphic, I was kind of caught up in it, so I kind of tolerated it. And then How to Get Away with Murder, they were so graphic, so quick into like the second episode, I couldn't t stomach it no more. Didn't watch Ep Empire. And I was watching Cuz shit, and I was just kind of proud of him. Like, damn it, these Cuz ain't putting that in it. But I don't know if it was season one or season two. I stopped watching because it was the boss man. The, 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 he wasn't. A, he was like another race, kind of like feminine, weird. Dude, but he was like a kingpin. He was in the jacuzzi, and then while he was in the jacuzzi, he's sitting there like this, chilling. And all of a sudden, a man come up out the water, like he been down there doing his stuff on him. I'm like, ah, cuz gave in to the give in. So I stopped watching the show way back then. And another thing, I believe this was before this episode, but these are the two things that definitely had me done. Then one episode, cuz had, I guess he was coming back from being dead or something. Yeah, he was in a, uh, he was in a room in a chair. And cuz started like whacking off. And then, as the camera pan away, like you watching the show, cuz finna go to commercial, it pan in, it pan in on cuz lap, and cuz try to like, either it's a prop, or he showed the real tip of his. I'm like, come kind of neat. So this the type of cat you dealing with. So now here it is, this late in the game, you want to act surprised, kitty cat? Come on, I think y'all just playing. I seen this dude on an interview, and just like nobody asked him about. How Vivica violated uh, his man for JJ. He just offered the information up. 
This time he shows a text message where Eminem is telling him he wants to just come fly on the jet to come sit on his man park, bro. So what? What's the what's the big surprise? You super gay, cause uh, super number one fan on my mama, mama Doja was hollering, "G, you not talking about <laughs> talking about Curtisha Jack's daughter and all his homies was gay." but saying I'm a shooter, leaving me out of it. I get on cuz for the unit. <laughs> Snoop get on me because of that. <laughs> and Kitty Cat and Jack's daughter ain't skipped a beat. They still bay boo boo bay. Oh, my mama, mama, it's something in the water, y'all. <laughs> if some of y'all wonder and be like trying to figure out why I don't fit in, huh? Oh, my mama, my man, ain't no mystery. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. <laughs> Shit crazy. I ain't finna hold y'all no longer, man. I finna get up out of here. But just remember that about SPI if you don't remember nothing else. I ain't nothing like these rap niggas. Oh, my mama, mama. You can believe that. My mom always says that I have an old soul. Whatever that means. She says that while other kids worry about toys, I worry about helping those in need. I guess that's true, but I still love toys too. I think what makes me different from other kids is that I'm Riley and they are not. The end. Snake wasn't that possible. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. I had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. Shout out right now to SPR streets, my nigga Spotlow, y'all already know what it is. Slow snake. Oh yeah, and don't forget, check my website out too. Nipsey Tupac of my generation, Pac was, was highly intelligent, but in our culture, street culture, especially his generation, intelligence was viewed as a form of weakness. How do you get the people that's really affected by, you know, what we're trying to solve involved? Yeah. Family broken, so I stand with my niggas. Showed up to every shootout, but I ran for my feelings. No time for those, I got a plan to get millions. Whoever don't agree, I see you back in the buildings. That's why I never let y'all act like a victim. That's why I never let y'all guilt my ambition. You were built for the mission. Park my colors in the back of the village. Remember Tony started washing them dishes. It was all a decision. Fast died, he took a part of me with him. Heart broken like my artery missing. Just fuck all of you niggas. Team broke, they can't harvest you nigga. Swore shit, it got a heart to it, nigga. I used to wanna know you were gonna fold them. I used to wanna know that I could count on you. All that pressure they bestowed on. Pray my son never face what I go through. Yeah. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross by my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, but it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas here came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drank that spot away So it don't feel how it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trusted you and I was big for me That's my little partner, you do that big for me And I ain't never tripped in my feelings, I ain't I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that I stole on Pray my son never face what I do Marathon and making moves taken, 
The heartbreaking news made major breaking news. Nephews, nieces, siblings, seeds, they confused. Waking up shaking, aching, praying that it's April Fools. Chosen child from the Nile down, stakes is huge. Snakes and fakes, straddling the gate, it's too late to choose. Through violent visions, gave victory, paid your dues. Motivated, demonstrated, elevated views. Truths don't die, we multiply, I ain't make the rules. Self-medicate, meditate, and celebrate the blues. Neighborhood, roller coaster, you can take the cruise, I'm good. Blue laces, suede Puma's favorite shoes. Jesus to the generation, you never save me on my babies. Most beautiful gift Puto ever gave me. For such a precious life, who decides price? I couldn't feel the slide twice, cause they crucified Christ. I used to know that I could count on you. All that pressure that I stole on. Pray my son never face what I go through. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross one of my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no, no, no. <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, if it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas here came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drink that spot away So it don't feel how it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was beef from me It's my little partner, you do that beef from me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings out here Cause I know you wanna feel them I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that you stole them Pray my son never face what I go 